going on guys it's currently 3 57 and i am done with work hallelujah wow i look really blue i don't know what's going on with that um but work wasn't too bad i mean it was busy it was busy it was pretty steady all day um but that's okay um they were asking people to stay longer but i was just like no thanks i'm not going to so i didn't but they are asking people to work extra hours tomorrow so i think i'm going to start an hour early because i'd rather start earlier than my shift and stay later than my shift that's just me personally um so i think i'm gonna start an hour early tomorrow so 6 a.m instead of 7 a.m still be done at 3 30 but we shall see. I'm just trying to put Alondra's baby dolls for like all over the house. So I'm just trying to pick those up. And I'm all by myself, guys. My baby isn't here. And I feel like so crazy. Like I don't know what to do. Like, you know, my baby girl ain't here. And I'm all by my lonesome. Josie watched her today because um, Maricela is working. So Josie has her. And yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get here but um i was able to design all of my stickers well i didn't design them it's a free printable that i got um but you know how i like to crop and cut out what i want and don't want so i was able to do all of that today and it's obviously a saint patrick's day theme since this week is saint patrick's day week on friday um oh i think that's my phone that just went off so yeah, that's what I did. I'll have to show you, although I had like such a bad time. I did one of the measurements wrong and then I ripped my damn paper. So I was not happy about that, but, oh, it's, it's my honey boo. Hopefully he was supposed to have like an early day. So hopefully he does. He's just waiting for one of the people he was working for to like inspect the property. I am so shiny greasy, it is ridiculous. What is the temperature? Because it is so hot, like I feel like I'm dying. It's 72 degrees right now. And yeah, it's so like muggy too. Like I'm just like sweating and I feel gross. I keep feeling like I hear noises, but it's not my baby. Oh, it's my baby. Anyways, so yeah, let me show you my planner spread. I feel like I'm like walking in every single room of the house because I don't know what to do with myself, literally. But here is the spread. So as you can see, it's a St. Patrick's Day theme. And then obviously just ignore this. This portion here will have this. It's just that I made it too short again, which I'm really annoyed about because this um, spread wasn't designed for the Erin Condren. So I had to like redo all of the measurements and stuff which is fine and then i'm so annoyed like right here i don't know if you guys can see it can you see it it's like a little wet spot um because the paper was stinking so i like sprayed my scentsy room spray on it like i did last time to get the stink out and it kind of left a little mark right there so i dk my bff gel but i really love the way it looks i just need to like redo this right here but i'm not going to do that right now because i don't want to like waste a sticker sheet of paper just to do like the top part so i'll do it when i decide next week's theme which is the week of March 20th. I'm really sad I didn't get a plan with me up for this week um, yesterday, but hopefully I'll be able to get a plan with me up next week, Monday the 20th. I just have to find a theme. I have no idea what theme I'm doing. So hopefully I can find a theme. That way I can get that video up. Um, but yeah, and I also have a really good idea because I know Angie had asked if I would ever do like, um, husband does my voiceover and i was like yeah i totally would you know as like as long as edam would want to do it but i'm not a makeup person but i thought of another voiceover edam can do that doesn't involve makeup that actually involves stuff that i am like more into i do like makeup but i feel like if we did a like a i won't shut that i'll keep that open if we do a makeover for the or makeover if we do a voiceover for the makeup i don't know i just feel like it won't it won't come out as good because i'm not like good at doing makeup in my opinion i'm very basic when as far as makeup goes but anyways i think i came up with a better idea so stay tuned for that and i don't want to say because i want to keep it a surprise and i don't want anyone to steal my idea i want to be the first one to put it out there and then everyone else can do that type of voiceover but wiggles is sitting by the front door probably like mom let me in it's so hot are you wanting to come inside wiggles hi you want to come inside okay but all right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna guess I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos because I haven't watched any YouTube videos in a hot minute. I probably should start unpacking, but honestly, like I kind of want to like unwind, you know, when you have like a long busy day at work, it's kind of just nice to unwind. And then after I do that, then I'll probably get more into like, okay, let's start to do a little bit more unpacking. So anyways, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hi, 
I'm with my two loves, you guys. I'm not alone anymore. Yeah. So, you know, I'm actually got off early today, a good time. Well, not early, but I guess like a good time. Yeah, but I mean, not like early, not yeah. like one o'clock early or something. But anyways, yeah, so we're at Costco right now. We just need to get a couple of things like dino nuggets. Uh, Gorda likes the little like cheese strings now and veggie straws, the veggie chips. Gorda likes those. Oh, Me too. Oh, I do too. They're cream. really good. Let's get sour cream. Oh, yes. We need sour cream. Yes, yes, yes. And then Josie um, said that Gorda ate banana today. Yeah, I saw that. You, you saw the Snapchat? Snapchat? Oh, yeah, she sent me too. So I was like, yay, Gorda. So anyways, yeah, we're just doing some some shopping. What? Are you hungry? She does that every time she's hungry now. She opens Landra, her mouth Landra. and points to it. Eating cookies. <laughs> telling lies. Open, open wide. Ah, ah, ah. That's from you two kids. But anyway, sorry, we're gonna do some shopping, guys. So I did really good with no soda on Monday, but I'm failing today. Hi, friends. Hi, we are at dinner. We're at the Boss, wait, where are we? The Baja Oyster and Sushi Bar. And this is my third time coming here. You know, I used to come here all the time with his brother and his best friend, Edgar. Say hi. And we were both, we've both been craving sushi. We really wanted to go on a sushi date. We were gonna go tomorrow, Wednesday, but we decided to come tonight after Costco. And then we were trying to think, but where do we go for sushi? Because I've had sushi here, and then I've had sushi at another place that you know I've been to. But the last time he took me, this was like three years, no, like four years ago, I didn't like it. So I was like, well, we can try it again. Maybe like I'll like it this time. But he was like, no, I know where we're gonna go. And I've had sushi here, and I actually really like it when we're here, which works out perfect because he knows the owners and he knows like the waiter here. And so he hasn't been here. You haven't been here since you moved to Minnesota, huh? But wait, whenever we visited though, you. Came no to Cali only once. Oh, okay. dang. Uh, oh, wedding? yeah. Oh, that's right. You came here. So they came last July. That was the last time. Uh -uh, so maybe it was the last time he came. But, anyways, yeah, it's really cool. Bye. Say hi. And it's really close to the house, which is really nice. And it's really good food. Uh, Iran's getting agua chile, oysters. And I ordered three sushi rolls. And then we're getting gorda kids' quesadillas. So they have like, oh. And this is, look how big this enchilada is. It looks really good. Really good. Really, really, really good. But it's massive. But if you want to learn how to make that, you know, I did it on his cooking channel. I'll have the link below. But anyways, I'm going to go. I'll show you the yummy food when it gets here because I'm so excited and I'm starving. Here's our dinner. So this is the Pacific roll. I got a spicy scallop pan roll, which I always get. Thank you. This is the K, thank you. This is the K358, I think. Gorda got um, the quesadilla kids meal, which comes with a quesadilla, french fries, and rice. Oh, you want that now, baby? And she's been eating the rice. Really good girl. Mommy needs that saucer for her soy sauce. Hiram got oysters, and then he got a agua chile tostada. But yeah, so we're gonna eat up because it looks delicious and the tuna looks so fresh. I'm really excited. That's the first thing I look at, by the way, for sushi when I get tuna is to make sure it looks fresh. After about 10, 15 minutes of screaming and crying and kicking and yelling, she's asleep. That was a tough one. What's going on, guys? So Elantra's asleep. As you can see, it's 9.05. And seriously guys, I'm not kidding when I say she was screaming and yelling. That was so tough. My shark music was playing hella loud in my head. But anyways, I do have a question of the day and I want to answer it. We only have one. It's from Mrs. R. David. And it says, hello guys. First of all, I love you guys. Aw, love you too. And she says, my question is, now that you guys live with your in-laws, how do you... Uh, split up the chores around the house. Who cleans what? Thanks for always answering our questions. And by the way, Iram looks really happy living near his family again. Very happy for you guys. XOXO. Um, so yeah, Iram's tickled. Because <laughs> that video is tickle monster. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, he's really happy. I think we're all really happy. But I definitely notice a difference in my hubby. So I'm glad you guys see that too. But anyways, as far as chores go, we don't have like a set thing like, you know, like, you clean this and they clean that and whatever um it's kind of just whoever i guess gets to it and does it right babe kind of i mean obviously as far as like cleaning our bedroom and our bathroom and cleaning um the office and alondra's room obviously that's gonna be up to us to do that we do our own laundry but as far as like the main like neutral living areas so the living room 
and like dining and kitchen area. It's kind of like a joint thing. Um, I think I feel like it's kind of like whoever gets to it first. Would you say, babe? Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. I mean, like for instance, um, I do the dishes. I feel like almost every day I do them. Like if I see dishes, I'll go and I'll do them. But like his mom, for instance, she just cleaned like practically the whole damn house yesterday. She, um, like swept and vacuumed and mopped, and then she cleaned the bathroom. Like there's the main bathroom with the one shower. She cleaned that. And then she did like a bunch of yard work yesterday. But the yard is like her domain. She loves yard work, so. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of we don't like have like a set thing. Like you do this, you do that, but. I mean, it's pretty much, I'll do whatever to help out around the house. I really don't mind. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for your question. I don't really know if like, I, well, I mean, I answered it, but I guess it wasn't like a clear answer though. But, um, and you know, I'm is designing business cards right now. It's really cool. His cousin created a graphic for their ironwork business. Let me see just the graphic, baby. I won't, sh I'm not going to show the actual business card because it has him and his brother's phone number on there and stuff like that. But um, it's really cool. Um, his cousin is like an amazing artist. So she designed, um, I mean, it's very simple, but it looks really good. So the logo, is this going to be your logo now, baby? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. So yeah, she designed this logo. Let me flip my camera around. Okay, here's the logo that she designed. It's kind of like a metal beam and just says Camacho and then Ironworks because that's the name of their company, Camacho Ironworks. But yeah, so it's really cool and they put that on the business card with him and his brother's like contact and their email. So I really like it. I think it looks really cool. And I'm excited for you, boo. Thank you. And you guys have never had business cards, huh? Mm -hmm. You have? You're just out of them right now. But they're gonna be looking extra professional. Yeah, because Edom you know, was saying like he's been giving his number out like crazy to people, but he feels like no, well, people ask for cards, but it's like yeah, wow, but he don't feels have any weird. Right now, so it's like yeah, well, here's my number, here's my name, but people tend to not call in those situations. So. It's better to give out a business card. So I think it's awesome. You just ordered them. Yep. Yay! I ordered a thousand. Holy crap! Well, they respect the ten dollar price for five hundred. Uh -huh. Only one order. Like um, you can order ten thousand, and it's gonna be. A hundred dollars. Oh. You know. So you did a thousand? Because the special was 500 business cards for 10 bucks. Yeah, $10 off. 50% off. Yeah, on Vista Print. So if you need business cards. Um, but anyway, so that's cool. That, that, that'll be more than enough. And then you can give me some too and I can mm -hmm. give some out to peoples. But anyways, yeah. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. What do you think, Booskies? Yep. Have to be up in five hours. Yeah, he's leaving at 3 a.m. with his dad. So, uh, I don't envy you on that one. But I'm waking up early tomorrow too because I'm going to start work at 6 a.m., get an extra hour of overtime because they need it. And I think I already said this, but I'd rather work earlier than Wait. stay later. But, cut, every time I see like my fingernails painted, I get like, what is that? Like, so confused because I haven't painted Doesn't my nails. The new Snapchat filter. And for, <laughs> I haven't painted my nails in so long. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me what my nail polish was. Let me go get that. So here's the nail polish on my nails. It's called Kiko Makeup Milano Nail Lacquer, but it doesn't have like the actual name of like the color. Um, but here's kind of like a better close up. Um, it's like a really dark, dark blue. It does have a bit of shimmer glitter in it. It's really dark, so it looks almost black at some points. So I think it's kind of compar to, comparable maybe to like the OPI um, Lincoln Park After Dark. Um, I would think. I've never had that color on my nails, but maybe. But yeah, so that's the color and I really, really love it. It's like seriously so pretty. It's my first time ever wearing this color too. So I'm loving it. But all right, so that's all I got for the vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog since uh, my helper saying goodnight to you guys is knocked out currently. I guess I gotta do it all by myself. Oh, my battery's dying, perfect timing. <laughs> so I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.